you know, it doesn't get any easier looking at all the pictures and the video coming yeah. in, uh, but we're starting to get a, a clearer path on at least one of the tornadoes. Yeah, and there may be more than one, uh, but National Weather Service out of Paducah confirming a continuous 128 mile track through their warning area. Now, I've got an asterisk next to that because the National Weather Service office in Louisville will pick up the track just past Bremen and it could go longer, likely will go longer. And this was part of this rare overnight December outbreak. These are all of the tornado warnings that were issued. You can see the streak there through Missouri and Illinois and the streaks that were moving through Kentucky and Tennessee to be determined if this was one continuous tornado or multiple that moved through northeast Arkansas, parts of Missouri and northwest Tennessee into Kentucky. Now we've got a big, big storm system and Angela, <laughs> I don't recall seeing an area uh, this expansive uh, under a high wind warning. No, that's Sean, you're right. No, that's all the uh, kind of counties highlighted in orange. These are high wind warnings for the potential for hurricane force winds, 70, 80 miles per hour, maybe even higher. What we're tracking is a storm system that's now sitting across the southern sections of California. This will quickly start to make its way toward the Rockies. Again, the high wind warnings highlighted in the orange color. We have high wind watches. We have the threat for fires, especially across the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma, where it's going to be windy and very dry. And in the higher elevations, the threat for snow, those areas in pink under winter storm warnings. You can see the snow. This then transitions into a line of rain, wind and storms moving across parts of Iowa, Minnesota into the western sections of Illinois. Eventually, this has a local impact, but it should be a little weaker by the time it gets here. We'll look ahead in the full forecast.